Good evening everyone, my name is George Williams, also known as GF Williams and I am a automotive photographer. So what I want to talk about today is how I've gone through the process of retouching on a commercial shoot that I've done and this shoot was actually of the De Tomaso P72. So what I'm going to show you is a couple of the raw files so you know roughly what it looks like and then I'm going to build from that and uh, I'm going to open up the finished Photoshop file and this isn't a tutorial but what I want to show is uh, how the image stack works, uh, what I've done roughly so that you get an idea. Uh, this was actually a 45 layer edit so keep in mind that I haven't really adjusted this since I did it which was at the beginning of this year or midway through this year sorry and it was very rushed this edit because we had a very tight turnaround for the deadline which is no bad thing it was challenging but we got what we needed so I'm gonna take you onto my screen and uh, I'm in I'm in Adobe Bridge which is a bit of software that I use just for uh, selecting the images and as you can see here we have the raw files so I just wanted to show you roughly what a couple of them look like and what you can see here is uh, we have lots of different lighting setups for different elements of the car what we then do is we open every single file into Photoshop we go through the Adobe Camera Raw adjustments for every individual one to get it the right exposure and various other things and then once we've done that we uh, open them all up into layers and we stack them all into one file. So this is the bottom of the stack effectively and on the right of my screen you can see all of the layers so what I'm going to do is a, a slow reveal and explain roughly what each layer is doing. Um, some of them are really subtle so you won't know exactly what it is. Um, but on the whole it is uh, quite clear I would hope. So we start with a base layer and the reason for this is to sort of create a background and when you when I personally do a studio shoot I like to create a background that I then use for all of the images this just gives me really nice color consistency for the background. So I'm gonna click on the next layer and as you can see at the bottom of the frame um, we've just got the floor. Now the reason for this was because we had a change of art direction throughout the editing process so we wanted to go for a darker background so I added this in to make it easier. As I build up we then start to put the car back in so uh, as I reveal a couple um, you can now see a bit nicer lighting on the front I'll toggle that on and off so you can see so it's a smoother lighting on the front it looks a little bit flat but we'll address that later uh, that's for the bottom of the carbon on the sill uh, front grille we uh, so we're working in really small sections building it up uh, and it's just about that attention to detail so we have the rear wheel that I then reveal and then these two layers above it are uh, adjustment layers to get it the right brightness so that it fits in with the rest of the image. Same for the front wheel, so reveal it, adding in that extra lighting frame where I uh, did some specific uh, lighting for that wheel and then I just darken it down a little bit using a what's called a uh, clipping mask. So what a clipping mask is, is it's a layer which only applies to the uh, uh, to the layer below it. So onto the windscreen and we've just got a slightly smoother light on this. Uh, same for the next one um, where we apply this more top light uh, which gives it a slightly more classical look which I think fits really well for this De Tomaso. Uh, front fender we just have a slightly smoother light. Uh, daylight running lights on for this layer. Uh, and then we have the next two layers which just add a bit of shape into the uh, door area below the big vent. Uh, the next layer is pretty much the only real colour adjustment that I actually do on this image because I did most of it in the raw file. So this is what I would just call a colour mask and as you see 
it makes the car a lot more red and it's sort of more of a blood red effect which is more true to what the car actually was. The next layer um, is for the top highlight over the car and that was a bit bright so I just darkened that down and that just defines the edges of the of the car a bit better. So that there, that was fairly quick so hopefully you took in as much of that as possible. Um, but that section is basically stacking all the original images, uh, masking what's good, what's not good, uh, and then what I can then do from there is build on it. So here are the next section and I'm not actually putting in any more detail from the original files apart from one or two layers I think. Uh, so just subtle things which I'm doing at a later stage. But what I start with is uh, making the door shuts a bit more subtle. Uh, I then, on the front splitter, get rid of that shut line. It's a slight artistic license. Uh, the car is pre-production, so I believe that's okay personally. Uh, there will always be changes when a car goes into full production. So, At this stage, where it's an early release, you can get away with it. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a bit now. So this layer here is what I just call a general tidy where I go through and I uh, edit certain things out. So you can see in the grill I've got rid of some of the things you can see behind it. Below the headlight there were some reflections so I get rid of those. Uh, onto the next bit. Uh, this is in the front bumper. So this is again a really subtle one where I've basically just added in one of the original lighting frames out just to give the car a bit more shape which I think worked quite well. Um, this next layer is for the rear tyre and all it is is darkening that down so that it doesn't draw your eye so much. Okay so I then do a bit more on the front grill just to darken it. I believe it was catching the eye a little bit too much. Uh, the next frame is uh, for the background so when you shoot in a studio to me the higher resolution you can provide a client the better so I like to make the car a bit smaller in the frame because they can always crop it if they need it to so if you can give them a bigger resolution that's no bad thing at all. Uh, layer afterwards just to clean up the floor a bit um, and then a bit of a gradient which I later reverse but for now we'll go with it. Uh, this layer here is actually taking an original file. I realised I'd sort of lost this logo a bit so I added that back in. Uh, this is a subtle layer but basically adds a bit of colour to the mirrors that one. Uh, darkening the wheels just so they don't pop out quite so much. Uh, this layer here what I'm doing is I've actually created a gradient over to hide that where you can see the roof of the studio because the studio wasn't quite large enough for a car of this size and that was a slight compromise but it's, it's no big issue when you can retouch it. This layer brightens up the floor a bit. Uh, can't really see that one but darkening the background a bit so that it's on a, a pure black background and then adding a shadow underneath the car um, which basically just g gives the car a more grounded feel. Uh, there's a tiny bit of masking just around the mirror for that layer. Front grille is again a slight artistic license just to get rid of that line down the middle. Uh, I prefer it when you can't see that. Um, the Hasselblad occasionally captures a little bit of noise, so I've got two layers in here where I manually went in and got rid of it, and then there's a tiny bit of detail on this carbon. So there's quite a few layers, hopefully <laughs> you've got the gist of what I've done there. Um, so this is pretty much the final image, um, as you can see there's quite a few layers. but. In reality, so that's my tidying frame to compare before and after. It's all fairly subtle things, but it adds up to give you the effect of a nice finished commercial image. Um, so that's the aim. And 
actually, when you look at that without any real colour adjustments or or anything like that or tidying, that's not a bad image, um, especially considering I had 13 hours to do the shoot. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have. I'm going to be creating more videos, so if there's certain things you want to see, uh, please let me know. I intend to do a couple more like this where I just walk through a couple of Photoshop files. But more to the point, what I intend to do more is uh, maybe do some tutorials, maybe talk a bit about certain photography techniques, that kind of thing. So please comment, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.